What up, everybody? I recently did a poll on, well, not really a poll. Uh, maybe it was a poll. I'm not quite sure. My brain ain't really working that well today. Um, if y'all wanted to see how to download, um, the Radical Red and the site that you can play the game with, so we're gonna go. I can, we're gonna, I'll go ahead and like show you all. So this is the site I go to, which I'll be sure that I put all this stuff in the description and all that. So I come here. I like. I always go to this one, just because like I'm not trying to like use the 64-bit. Which if you have a good enough PC, laptop, whichever, you know, like this one here works too. I just use this one just so I can just keep like my storage kind of low, so I can make sure I have like enough space for everything to keep going. Uh, if you are coming here, you know, like there isn't, you don't have to worry about paying for nothing here. It's pretty dope. If you are in, just end up just typing this in, you know, this will be the main page you'll see. You can just come downloads. They'll take you straight here, even though I'll be giving you like the download spot. So this will take you straight to where you got to go. Um, I'm not sure what this, like what this does. I've downloaded it once and I couldn't get it to work. So I've always done the installer instead. So that's a good way, whatever, for you to get this. If you want to play like Game Boy Advance games. It's worked. It's worked amazing for me for all of my games I've played. Like I've played Radical Red. I've played Emerald. Uh, you know, like a couple other different ones of those. So that's a really good one. And then, which I'll have, I'll have this also in the comments. I do not use Pokey or the Pokey Community one or the Pokey Coders. I always come down here to Pokey Harbor. Do you believe? Yeah, Pokey Harbor. This is where I get all my games from. Pokey Harbor is where everything is, like, that I download and be able to play from my PC. It actually works, and I ain't got to go figure out where I'm trying to go and all that. No offense to the other the other site. Maybe I'm just not all that brain smart to figure it out. But, you know, once you're on this page, you just come straight down. Like, there'll be a lot bunch of words. You don't got to worry about none of this stuff, you know, if you don't want to. You just come down here to the download. Now, depending on, like, what you're on, like, if you're on Google, you know, you can do your Google one. I always do Mediafire. It seems to be the one that works. Um, which, sometimes, like, when you click on it, it'll pull up and, like, it'll pull up another screen like this. Sometimes when you hit download, it'll do it again. So, you know, sometimes you just gotta just click it a couple times. It'll, and then it'll, it'll eventually finally start downloading. I didn't mean to save this. Um, you know, just... You may just have to just do it a couple times. I don't know why it does it. But, yeah, okay, here we go. So, you know, it'll start downloading, which I don't got to download it again. I already have it downloaded. And you, you might just be able to just, like, do it once and then delete one and do it again and it does it. You don't have to accept any of these cookies or anything. But, you know, you do that. If you're on the PC, it'll just start downloading. And then, like, you'll click here. And if you already have this already downloaded before that because like you'll have to like install this uh, it'll like open it right up and all that which if you do it you know you come in here to file you go to load ROM it'll be in here which I'm not really sure why there's two of them but I'm not really trying to delete it so I'm not deleting my progress because like I, I restarted it again yesterday because where I did my three years on twitch which I had an awesome time over there it was pretty dope but you just click it It'll just load it right up for you, and you're just going straight into the game. Oops, I don't know why. It, oh, it's because I'm clicking on the mouse, not not where I need to be clicking. Uh, yeah, it, it'll you just start loading through. You just keep it going. Uh, if you all have a hard time trying to download or find all this, I have all of the stuff in my Discord. So if y'all haven't, y'all would like to. Y'all can come join the Discord. It'll all be in the uh, sites section. You know, it'll give you both. It'll give you both options, so you'll be all set there. And then you know, you just play it regularly. Like you just go straight in. You know, you go through all this. It will ask you, which yeah, which I'll show you here in a second. We'll just. I'm just gonna just go through this. 
which I'm not going to save this or nothing. I already got one. I'm starting. You know, we're just going to just set all this up. So uh, once you get to this part, it'll tell you to stop mashing A. So if you want to like like play like special conditions, so like you come here, you hit no. Now you have all your random options. Like you can either you could select your difficulty level. If you don't want to do it, like if you're playing it out for the first time, I would suggest doing it on easy. You know, or you could do it on default, whichever. You know, there's not really too much. Minimal grinding. This just makes it to where you don't have to worry about IVs and EVs. You know, so and the, none of none of the bosses will have it either. You know, so you won't have to worry about the grinding. You can also go through and and randomize species, abilities, and learn sets. So species, everything in the whole game that you that you encounter will not be your normal encounter. So on Route Two, I think that's where it starts. But like you go from Pallet Town to Route One or Route Two, whatever it starts out as, they will not be your normal Route One spawns. The abilities will change every ability in the whole game. So, like, if you, you could catch something that is, like, a ground type, that'll have, a, like, a water ability. You know what I mean? Like, you know, for all that. Learn set, every, like, every move it learns will, will not be a regular move it would learn, but it can also learn moves that it would learn. You know, that would be, like, type, like, type effects, like, yeah, type effective to other things, but it's not guaranteed that you will get moves that are lined up with the mon you have. So that's pretty dope. Which I normally always do. The, I, I normally always do just normal species. So scaled species makes all of your encounters weak or not not the best ones. So you want to always do normal species if you want to randomize those. Oops. Went to turn, no, you know, and then, which I don't. I every once in a while I'll do abilities. I have not done learn set yet because I'm not. I'm still trying to figure like get through all this. You know, you just hit done, and then you could just literally just start playing. Once you come down here, your your mom will ask you if you want your region to be. So if you just hit no, your region will be Kanto. But if you don't hit no, and you you, know, you want to choose, you have all of like all, ge all nine gens to choose from the only reason Kanto isn't on there is because you would just hit no because it says which region would you like to start would like your starters to be instead of Kanto so if I would have just if I would have just hit yes and moved on like the if I was playing this regularly I would have just had the Kanto starters right you know so but you can go through which if you're doing randomized it doesn't really matter like Pokemon are just all going to be random. So, you know, you can just pick whichever, which for right now I'm just going to just hit Johto. You know, and then you... I don't know which button it is. which Because I'm know i normally using my controller. Right now I'm just using the keypad. Or no, the, not keypad. The, uh, the keyboard uh, options right now. So, you know, and then you come up here. And you just talk to Oak, just like you regularly would for, Radic or for Pokemon Red. Or Fire Red, I guess this is. Any of the original games, whatever, from Gen 1, they all do the same thing. You know, you still go through all this little dialogueness, yada, 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 yada. And then you'll get to choose, you know, you got, so we got or Orthworm, you know, as a starter instead of the regular Johto starters. We got Vivalon, or I think that's what it's called, and then we got a Grump Pig, you know, so then you would just pick one of those. And then after you pick one, like, your your opponent, or the rival is always, he'll tell Professor Oak he wants it from, I think, Kanto? Which, here, let's, let's just go ahead and pick one. We had, we'll just pick the Orthworm. You know, and then, oh, I'm not going to do the whole nickname thing. Which, if you would like to, for any of my playthroughs, if you would like to... Give nicknames anything, you know, just leave a comment down on this video. And I'll be sure that I grab your, your like, whatever nickname you want for the, the, the playthroughs that I do. So his, he's gonna, he says he's going to take that one, but he decides not to. And yeah, he wants a Kanto starter, which he's not going to have a Kanto starter. Like it says he has Charmander, 
but it's you know it's just because like I supposedly picked Chikorita, you know, and then you know you still do everything else the same here. You just kind of just go and battle. Which, um, it's there is a way, so you can have a bunch of other stuff go on while you're like while you're starting the game, but you have to do it as soon as you log into the game. Your Nintendo 64 you have in front of your TV, you'll have to put in some codes. Which, if you would like those codes, you'll have to join Discord. I'm not gonna just go through all of them right now. But you know, you just you. Oop, I didn't mean I didn't mean to hit that, but at least my defense is up a little bit. But then, you know, like you you start off, we you know, with like moves that they would have at level five. All that, so not really anything too crazy. Sometimes the Mons will have like a full move set. Sometimes they won't. Just all depends on the Mon and like what they can know and learn at level five. Um, some of them will, you know, just have just like some broken moves. Sometimes they won't, you know, all that. But then you know you still do all this, all your regularness. You still have to go to the market and all that. But I'm just gonna just show you like a bit. So after you go to the mart and you get the package and bring it back, this lady will move and you can actually get an encounter down in here in this little area instead of having to wait until you go to Blaine. So that is a pl like that is something that they updated. This chick will sit and bother you just to tell you that she uh, that she read the sign. But so like if you go through here, you know like I'm not going to find Pidgeys. I mean you might still find Pidgeys, but it's very rare. So you see we see you see a young young goose. Normally you would see like it's pre-evolution. You know you can run. Uh, there is a spot you could go to which, you know, if you've watched my videos for a little while, you've seen that there's a guy that gives you this thing called the Dexnav, which allows you to see everything that you've already seen, unless you put in the codes, like when you first start the game. Or you might be able to do it at any point in time of the game. Some of the codes you have to do as soon as you go, like load the game up and all that. But there is, I think, like maybe one or two you can do without doing it as soon as you load the game up. But you see... Like, so, like, these aren't normal, like, Route 1 spawns and all that, as you could tell. And if you've watched some of my other play th or game playthroughs and all that, you know, you've seen that I've I've come across some crazy spawns and all that. But, yeah, you could just walk around. If you're not doing a Nuzlocke, like, see, right there's a Guzzlord. You know, that you would never see a Guzzlord, you know, like, this early in the game. Or even be able to just catch it with just Pokeballs and all that. So yeah, that's that's how you download the game. You know, you get the game set up and all that. You know, I just figured I would just show you all a little bit. Like, you know, if you have seen like some of my gameplay and all that, you already know like the like the way all the random stuff. But I did see that somebody wanted me to make a video on like how to like get all this. So here it is. Hopefully, you have a good rest of y'all's day, and I will see you on the next video or the next stream. Catch you later. Peace.